Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you might know, I've built myself a CNC machine. In my last video, I showed how I machined my first part. Now, I've machined a few things since then. In particular, I made this enlarged version of my simple bowl. As I was doing this, I was reminded of a problem. I have to keep removing the chips and because it is such a big part, I ended up clogging my vacuum. This is gonna be even more of a problem when I go into machining aluminum, as cleaning this from sharp aluminum chips is going to be a nightmare. So, I built a cyclone separator. Now, I'm certainly not the first to use something like this. They have long been used in industrial applications due to their ability to filter out dust and other particles while requiring almost no maintenance. The way they work is relatively simple. They have an inlet into which the sawdust air enters. Due to the geometric shape, the airflow begins to form a vortex, similar to a mini tornado. Because the sawdust particles are so heavy compared to air, they are thrown sideways and spiral down until they fall into an enclosed bucket below. Because the air is so much lighter, it can detach from the walls and access a cyclone through the top. This is also where I connected my vacuum to create the airflow. They didn't seem complicated in their constructions, so I opened Fluency 360 and started designing my own. One thing I paid attention to was to have most of the properties as parameters. This allowed me to quickly change the dimensions to print the largest possible cyclone on my Ender 3. I also made the top separate to make it out of acrylic towards the working process. But before that I would have to print the main part, which would take me over 30 hours in total. I started sanding the inside to remove the springing, but this is where I noticed it. The entire part was heavily under extruded. I could easily crush the entire top half. There was no way I could use this, so that was 25 hours well spent. I also redesigned it a bit. It now consists of a cylindrical and a conical piece. This allowed me to increase the height of the entire cyclone.
Now that the cyclone was complete, it was time for testing. I've tried both sawdust and very fine wood dust, as anything denser, like aluminum, should work even better. The sawdust was first. With the sawdust it performed very well. I tracked how much I put into the system and how much I got out. I didn't get it all back but I think that has more to do with the mess I made and with the cyclone not sapping the particles. Next up is the wood dust. It behaves similarly to sawdust, maybe a bit worse, but overall they were acceptable. There was also this weird accumulation of dust around the intake. I think this has to do with statics, but I'm not sure. Another thing I noticed was a reduction in vacuum power. I think this has mostly to do with the cross section of the cyclone inlet being much bigger than the cross section of the vacuum inlet. This in turn means the air velocity will be lower. After these tests my cycle was pretty much complete. However, I need to change my setup, as the current one is suboptimal at best. I also need to find a better solution for my hoses, but I can address that at a later date. If you're interested in the files, you can find them on Thingiverse or Thanks. As always, if you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. And while you're down there, leave a comment as well. I really enjoy reading them. See you next time.